Hello, I'm Angela Princewell, and on this segment of Ask AP, the question I'm answering is, how do I prove my spouse has hidden income? Well, the very nature of a person hiding income means they want it to be impossible for you to find, but rest easy, there's ways around it. So, I mean, there's no one way for everyone. Um, it really depends on, you know, the nature of work or business that they do. We find that a lot of business persons tend to have the ability to hide income better than employees. Now, obviously employees do hide income as well because you know they might have certain relationships with employers that allow them to be paid you know, um, income that's not reflected on their T4 and things like that. So, um, you know, one of the ways, and I'll just throw out some, some ideas. So one way could be, you know, looking at their lifestyle, right? If a person is earning $50,000 and has a lifestyle that's worth, that's costing them about $150,000 a year, and at the same time, they're not in significant debt, then it begs the question how, you know, is this person meeting their expenses? So clearly there must be, for the most part, there's like the hidden income somewhere. Um, another um, way we can also look at this is certain industries as well, kind of notorious for um, receiving cash income. So that might be one angle to explore. Um, and then the lifestyle too. So if you, if you, if you're recently separated, for example, and you know, you can look at the lifestyle that you had, you know, what kind of, if a person again, back to that $50,000 a year um, income, but your, you know, mortgage was say, even in, in, in a spouse's name or in your name and and that the mortgage was being paid by, by your ex and yearly mortgage is about $60,000 and they're reporting income of 50,000 right there. You can already see that it doesn't add up. Right. So we look at the expenses, um, or the lifestyle that you enjoyed during the marriage, their lifestyle post separation, if, if, if it's different or, or consistent, depending on how we want to use that. Um, we also look at the, the industry that they are, um, the, even certain social media could also be an indicator of what kind of presence do they have there? Or um, even with some businesses as well, if we're able to get, you know, the your schedule, um, the, you know, your access schedules, for example, to see, you know, number of appointments and things like that, um, you know, we might be able to, to get a glimpse into how much they're being made. But that there's ways around it we will find um, the way it's not an exact science. And as I said, not every, not all of these would be applicable to everyone. And of course, there's a lot of other ways. Uh, I haven't even talked about involving the experts yet, right? Because with sophisticated corporations, for example, you know, the monies can really move up and down in ways that, you know, might not be um, obvious to the untrained eyes. And that's where we're getting experts to help us you know, follow the money. So there are ways, it depends on the circumstances of your case. Um, and, but generally it, it can be done. It might not be accurate. You might not 100% be able to claw everything back, but do not give up just because someone's, um, you know, declaring a lower income and it seems like there's no way around it. There usually is a way. Talk to a lawyer. We will find the way for you. Okay. All right. That's it for now. And until next time, it's bye. Thank you.